Hey folks, good morning. We're not on the farm today. It's auction time again. It's time for our spring auction here in town. We have one in April, we have one in October. The farm equipment auction slash everything else. What happens is it's a consignment auction and everybody uh, around town and around the country bring their stuff down to the fairgrounds. It takes like a week to get everything down here, people dropping things off, and uh, have a good auction twice a year. So we're almost there. Stick around, we'll see what's for sale today. We have arrived now the weather is not cooperating today the winds blowing pretty good it's gonna be a rough day out here in this wind we're supposed to get thunderstorms starting around three four o'clock somewhere in there with possible hail and a slight risk of uh, tornadoes but very slight so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive around. We'll show you the big stuff from the truck. And when they bring out the smalls on the trailers and stuff, we'll go through those. But I want to stay in the truck as long as I can because uh, it's nasty outside. Go through the trailers and stuff over here on the one side of the auction. Here's an old camp trailer. Little tent trailer. We used to have a little tent trailer. We had fun with that. Here's a uh, flatbed trailer that my friend in Tennessee, Dave, wants to look at when it goes for auction. He wants something that'll haul his tractor. So we're going to keep an eye on that one. And then a couple smaller flatbed trailers for hauling like ATVs and such. A little fifth wheel trailer here. pickup box trailer an old boat trailer we've made lots of stuff out of old boat trailers that's a pretty cool old pickup box trailer kind of retro a couple more boxes i've seen people that were looking for a pickup box for their pickup buy these trailers just to get the box something they were looking for here's a fifth wheel with a couple pop outs on it mac truck a uh, little cattle stock trailer and a motorhome here's a three axle flatbed trailer fifth wheel with a folding beaver tail great for hauling equipment pretty good payload on that with the three axles got an old buckboard wagon that's neat and some animals got a little horse down there from a merry-go-round or carousel whatever they call those statues even got the statue of liberty check that out here's the lineup of vehicles that they're gonna sell they always park them here along this fence pretty clean expedition there Just about every size make and model of stuff from SUVs to old farm trucks. There's a uh, round bale loader flatbed. You can carry round bales on that. Sometimes you can carry two if you do it right. Now we're getting into some of the farm equipment. There's a stack of four tires. Hay rake couple bale forks little spring tooth three-point cultivator that's a cute one it's got gauge wheels on it and a harrow an old uh, loader old round baler that's an old school round baler and there's a round bale carrier trailer there's a nice old manure spreader 
that's the wheat it's in great shape a couple old dollies three point angle blade another nice manure spreader here John Deere manure spreader looks like it's been in use little cultivator sometimes it's nice to get those three point and make you can make them smaller uh, you already have the three point harness for the tractor here's an old pull behind spray tank with a boom on the back some uh, boxes I don't know if they're they look like a little big to be like truck boxes but it says highway products maybe they're for like semi sized stuff you can put them under the the beds and stuff not a bad little workbench there little portable like ATV spray tank next to it but if you were uh, need a little workbench in your shop with some shelving that'd be pretty cool forklift mass there now here's a trailer full of stuff got a headache rack on there and some rims seats nice little aluminum box there even got a bicycle Four aluminum rims, some axles, fuel tank, probably the trailer might go too, you never know. Some old rubber hoses, a couple nice metal steps, looks like a big truck frame with the axles underneath it. There's an axle there with airbags, it appears to be a steering axle. little grain auger transmission big electric motor probably three phase a couple axles we're going to be looking at some axles here because the trailer that we got we want to make a tandem axle out of so if i can find the right axle we'll snatch one up this manure spreader is somewhat more of a project there's an axle inside of it we might take a look at make sure it's not what we need or what we need it's an old drag scraper, adjustable pitch, and some steel, some I-beams, big, big pipe, some old tractor wheels, don't know what those are for, might be implement wheels, you never know, as many lugs as there are on them, and they're probably for a tractor. Here's an old McCormick Farmall, I think it's got a letter M. The yellower one and then there's a farm all m right next to it the red version after they went to ih and then there's a newer farm all looks to be a 450 and then i believe that's an alice chalmers it's an old international i believe this is like a mixer got some smalls in here got some ramps some rolls of uh, heavy gauge wire not sure what that little wheel thing is behind that some old lawn mowers tractor tires truck tires that's a bale wagon you can put round bales on that and then uh, you can probably pick them up and unload them with this wagon it, I believe it tilts in the middle right there you can pick them up on the front and then uh, unload them on the back And some more bale forks, sickle mower, big old bucket, brush hog over there. We'll go down the other side so you can see those better. Grain drill. Wish that was uh, just one side of that. Of course, a guy could probably take that and split it in half and make two smaller ones. Small ones are hard to come by. A little old brush hog. John Deere round baler. This is some other kind of drill. Don't know what it is. It uh, might be just a regular old drill. It's got shoes on the bottom there. <clears throat> Never seen that kind of drill. Some more steel. Never have too much steel laying around. 
Here's a uh, mixer wagon, un self unloading mixer wagon. This is some kind of hoist, probably goes on a truck. Hydraulic. Another mixer wagon, feeder wagon. Loader frame. More bale forks. Those look like tracks off of something. Never seen anything like those. Another three point blade. These blades are a dime a dozen. There's a box scraper. You don't see those very often. And uh, very handy to have. People don't usually get rid of those little three point box scrapers. This appears to be some kind of welder or generator. We'll pull behind spring tooth. This is a post hole digger for skid steer. Those are very handy if you have a skid steer. They take hydraulic power to turn the screw. Nice because you got power down on those. Big, big spring tooth. Little drag spring tooth harrow type thing. Four bales of hay if you need hay. That looks like some other kind of bale carrier somebody made homemade. Those are like uh, drag harrows right there. And some really big tires. Two, two set of tire and rims there. We'll see what those are for because I need a spare for a couple trailers. I might look at that uh, auger. It's a little bigger than the one I got and it looks like it'll fit on mine. Otherwise, I could adapt it. So we'll probably keep an eye on that. And there's a decent pair of bale forks there. A little finish mower, PTO drive finish mower. And then there's another auger. We'll look at that one also. Pretty good size. There's a better look at that box scraper. Some aluminum uh, irrigation pipe fittings. A couple pump units there. I don't know if they're PTO drive or what they are. Some type of, uh, oh, that's a grapple for that bucket. A big propane tank, some elevator buckets. People love those for uh, storage baskets. They screw them to the wall. Uh, that's some kind of blade. It's got a different hookup on it. Can't tell really what it goes on. Some more steel, some hydraulic rams come in handy when you're building stuff. Some sheet metal. There's a tractor axle off of something. I don't know what tractor that come off of. But if you need a steering axle, that's a nice piece of sheet metal there. A little winch, electric winch. Good size brush hog. You'd need a bigger tractor to run that. Here's some old doors, and looks like a uh, garage doors, but those aren't the size that I need. We'll be looking for a door like that one of these days. Got some building materials, some cinder blocks, some landscape timbers, fencing wire, roofing tin. Doesn't appear to have any holes in it. Might be new old stock. T-posts, more tin, looks like off a metal building, big wooden timbers, those are nice to make beds out of, of course they got probably full of creosote, if you want to stay away from, the uh, pallet of hedge posts, those are real popular around here, real hard wood, some more tin, and some 2 by 6s and some old tin, that's old school tin there. Some more old gnarly looking hedge posts. The windmill tower that has seen better days, however, the mill on top looks intact. Minus one blade here on this side. That uh, appears to be air motor head. 
pretty valuable. Some telephone poles or power poles, fence posts. Uh, don't know what that is over there. Looks like some kind of covered feeder. And then it's got the bags uh, where you can hang the bags on the outside for like uh, fly stuff. A couple nice sheds. Of course, the metal shed, those are pretty flimsy. But uh, that big one could be a pretty nice she shed or something. Feed bunks. Big poles, laminated poles. Beams, whatever you want to use them for. Concrete feed bunks. Some bale feeders. Looks like a lot of panels, fencing panels, gates. There's some continuous fence here with the legs welded on them. You could set up somewhere for a little portable corral. Be kind of hard to move around. Big metal feed bunk. You'd have to have a pretty good sized tractor to move that around. More panels. Got some big poles here. These are big, long poles. Be nice and tall if you put those in the ground. Or you could use them for borders. A wooden feed bunk. There's a gate off of a uh, cattle trailer, stock trailer looks like. And then uh, looks like a mineral feeder here. A little calf crate. Cattle work and shoot. Hydraulic operated. Big metal tank. Feed, uh, feed bunk made out of an old tire. There's a mineral feeding station. Cows just put their nose up underneath that rubber cover and get uh, mineral out of that, and the rubber cover keeps the rain from coming. Looks like a creep feeder that's missing the uh, the things on the outside. I don't know what you call those, the, uh, the sorting gate or whatever that goes on the outside that only lets the calves in. And a whole bunch of ups or uh, inside out feeders. Some people used those for planters back in the day. My grandma had a bunch of those that she planted flowers in. There's some uh, pet feeders. A lot of use those for hogs. You can put a bunch of food in there. And then that thing sitting on top of that tire, that is a cow lifter. Those uh, round deals there clamp onto the hip of the cow. And then you have a big A-frame or use a tractor or whatever to stand the cow up. And this is a panel trailer. You hang stock panels like those panels right next to it right there. You would hang those panels on this trailer and you could transport your panels for if you're um, working cattle somewhere, you can haul your panels, set up a little pin. There's a little pin here that's set up with a gate panel in it. Those are heavy duty panels there. Another uh, more primitive work and shoot. These are more, looks like mineral feeders or something or other. Big bale feeder, round bale feeder. And this is a calf chute here for working little larger size calves. And then a crate, some kind of big animal crate. You could throw that in the back of your pickup and haul small animals. Well, that's all the big stuff. They've uh, brought out the trailers of the smalls, and there's more smalls out along the edges that we'll go through for you. I like getting here early because then I can park closer to the auction, so when I buy stuff, I can carry it to the truck. So let's get over here and park. We'll show you the smalls. We'll get our bidder number because there's a few items I want to look at. Stick around. You'll have to bear with me. We're dealing with some wind out here, so you're going to hear wind on the video. I apologize ahead of time for that. All right, I hope you can hear me in this wind. We got a toolbox, fifth wheel, side steps, nice big cow catching bumper there, a couple of them, big side 
box. This is a uh, box for the back of your pickup as well. Here's some a couple spare tires I'll look at. Five lug might be able to use those. They're pretty expensive at tractor supply. Another cow catcher, a little bent. Bucket seats, more boxes. The uh, garbage can full of air hose. I'll try to block the wind with my body as much as I can. Uh, some squeegees, some concrete tools there. Four compartment sink, that's pretty cool. Looks like some old propane heaters. All kinds of elevator boxes. A couple little chicken coop, small ones, little need some repairs. Some uh, old metal hooks and clevises and stuff. Never can have too many hooks and clevises to make stuff out of. More wheels. Lots and lots of stuff. We'll dig through this stuff a little better when we come back around. Nice little patio set. Gas cans. Old coat cooler over there, but looks like it's got an ice chest in the top of it. It's one of them, uh, like, you put in your backyard to put all your drinks in. Hand tools. Love these old chairs. That'd be a good uh, restoration project there. Those old retro chairs, clean them up, paint them, or leave the patina on them and uh, kind of sand them up and clear coat them. There's another couple old metal chairs back there. Old school stuff. The swing chair. A couple spray tanks and some toolboxes. Hydraulic fittings. Nice doors, big windows. There's some good drain tubing there. Some like wheelbarrow tire type stuff. You can still get tubes for those, so if you have like a dolly or something, those fit on. Cabinet. Bicycles. Copper tube, somebody's gonna buy that just for the copper. More hand tools. They don't put all these together because this is all different lots from different people consigning stuff. File drawers. Chevrolet tailgate bench. Wheelbarrow. Plastic saw horses. Some type of trays with holes in them. I don't know what those are used for. I don't know if they're for draining stuff or just sorting stuff or what. Looks like an old Briggs motor. It's got some kind of gearbox on the back. Maybe an old pump jack or something. It's got uh, two shafts on the back. I have no clue what that is. Hmm. Wagon wheels. Lots of smalls here. Ooh, some old seed plates. I might uh, be a player on those. I have a project for those. Some old wash tubs, bed frames. Old double oven. Here's a uh, spray tank with spray boom for like a ATV. Lots of old oil cans. That's some mastic. Be surprised if that's still good. I don't know if this is a uh, this is a cleaner, like a, a grain or corn cleaner. Takes all your stuff out as it turns. Old wooden hoops for something. That's a uh, propane burner. Interesting. Some plastic little pallet looking things all stacked together. I don't know what those are for. Some belting, wooden spokes rims it's off of something old couldn't tell you what it's for model something or other old horse harness horse collar hardware 
barrels and barrels and barrels. I love the barrels with the writing and stuff on them, the decal, or not decals, but uh, graphics. Pretty cool. This is, looks like smokestack out of something. Probably double wall. It's got the roof flange and everything. Even the wall flange if you wanted to put it in the wall. A couple old storm doors. Wooden doors with frames. Uh, appears to be a sauna. Maybe. Might be a shower. Yeah, it might be a shower. It's like RV windows. If you had a project, you're putting a trailer together like our tramper. Those would be good, good windows. Really cheap to buy. And you even got little storage compartment doors. You could uh, include those in your project. Probably a fold-out couch. People use these for burn barrels, five-gallon buckets. Now these are steps for the side of a big rig, and I'm doing a project that I need some of this step material for. So we might keep an eye on these. If these go dirt cheap, we'll get them just for that step material. Old tires, windows, boxes. That's even got a tail light on it. This is like uh, the old Marston mat, but not exactly, but it works the same uh, same principle. It all locks together. More aluminum irrigation pipe, PVC, and a couple big old tanks. Look to be saddle tanks for fertilizers for tractors. All right, let's move over to the other area. Now, lots of people love this area here. It's where all the small equipment is. Got some nice shelving here. Not very wide though. Some weed eaters. Engine stand. Looks to be a battery charger there. A uh, big heater. That would be a good greenhouse heater. Don't know uh, what the amperage is on that. We'll check it out. A little drill press. Yamaha Quad, Honda. These Hondas are bulletproof. Decent mechanic. Those things will run forever. Nice little welding table. Some wrought iron gates. Got a nice vise on the table. Got a scooter. You don't see those very often here in middle Nebraska. A little portable table saw, like a Finnish carpenter's table saw. Couple weed eaters, big chop saw, some vice stands. I might uh, take a look at this one here, see what it goes for. I have a belt disc sander that I need a stand for. That would probably work well. An air drive um, jack. This is some kind of dolly for something. Shop heater, those are very popular. Nice big fan, that'd be cool in the shop, but I got some already. Air compressor, golf cart, little craftsman mower, metal table. This is a metal grate that somebody took, and that appears to be a sewing machine stand underneath. That'd be a neat little patio table. Lawn mowers, more heaters. We've got a port of power in that box there. Here's an old uh, David Bradley. That's like a power unit you would uh, walk behind, and there's different implements, like a little tiny garden tractor almost back in the day. And uh, the drive wheels would pull anything you put behind it. Those were really neat. Some people even put a little trailer and put a seat on it so you could drive them around. It was like an articulated little tractor. Super neat back in the day. That'd be a good restoration project for somebody. More real decorative looking panels there. And I believe that might be from like a weather vane. Big AC welder. A couple bird baths. Well, look at this old motorcycle. It's 
old school. Looks like an old Husqvarna, but probably not. Let me see if it's got a name somewhere on here. I'm not seeing one. And all the badges are gone off of, of course. Oh. It's a Honda. An old Honda. Cool. There's an old uh, metal before they made van saws. This thing had a gear that made the saw go back and forth. There's a little spray trailer that you would pull behind something like this. John Deere little garden tractor. There's a big metal grate. Pretty decorative. Huge cast iron pot. They used to use these for like rendering lard and stuff, but most people make flower pots out of them. But those can be restored fairly easy. You would uh, like build a fire in it and burn it off and clean it up, reseason it, and uh, these things still work. A little odds and ends here. There's a horse drawn one row planter, like for beans and corn. That is super cool. Rototillers, air compressors, there's a parts washer over there. If I had the room, that'd be nice to have, but I don't have room in my shop for stuff like that. Don't know what this was used for. Just cuts a straight line into the dirt for some reason. Some tractor seats. And these are cast aluminum. Don't see those very often. Not cast iron, they're pretty light, but they all match. I already have a bunch of uh, old cast iron tractor seats, so I don't need those. Nice little parts bin, bolt bin. Here's a like a snow blade for an ATV. Another battery charger, air compressors, ladders, bird bath. These appear to be old lights. There's a fake cow skull made out of metal. Neat. Old uh, dragon light there. You can see that. Weird. Some barn trolley right here. Goes up in the barn on the rail. Put hay in the barn and whatever else. Wagon wheels. There's a uh, gas powered hole digger, hole auger. Little pancake compressor, big green egg. Probably get that a lot cheaper than you'd buy it at the store for sure. Old Coca Cola looks like cooler cabinet outside, but uh, that's old, that's original. Somebody's gonna snatch that up and make something out of it. Now, I didn't see this when I was driving by on the truck. It's an old pump jack, belt drive pump jack. You could either hook this up to a hit and miss or have a spot to mount an electric motor here or whatever. But as that wheel spins, this jack goes up and down and it still works. I've already spun it. Pretty neat. Now here's what a lot of people come for. They got the trailers of smalls out here. And sometimes they'll sell a trailer too, but uh, most of the time they don't. But lots and lots of stuff. A winch here blowers nice vice this appears to be like a cupola off of a building a little scroll saw router circular saw gun cleaning kit everything you need to tie your dog up looks like some uh, baseboard heaters over there all kinds of stuff an old ringer off of an old wash tub there's a couple old seed boxes for a planter, old school. Little ATV hitch, badminton, bunch of tools, lots of tools, extension cords, an old barbed wire collection, different types of barbed wire. There's some uh, P.O. box doors, people love making things out of those. Here's a uh, rooster wall hanger. I might buy that for Kelly. Maybe it's a chicken, but I'm assuming it's a rooster. But I'd have to buy that whole box. 
three boxes of spark plugs. Got a whole bunch of branding irons. These are going to go for a lot of money. People love branding irons. Some chains, some big heavy rope. Got a cream separator. See what's in this little barrel. Horseshoes and shearing stuff. Old Black and Decker drill. Some old bits, bracing bit. Some old pulleys. This is a corn sheller, Fulton corn sheller. This thingy here, some type of old spreader. Copper fitting, flaring tools. Little uh, die handles, two way radios. Got some fence brackets here, some uh, regulators. The whole thing full of razor knives. Here's some uh, L bolts. We put these like in concrete for securing stuff down. Some saws. Ooh, some, uh, these are moving sprinklers. These are plastic. This one's metal. This one's going home with me today. Let's go look at the other trailer. Loads and loads of stuff. Ooh, yard darts. Haven't seen yard darts for a while. Probably illegal in most states. Got a couple old saddles, little saddle soap. These things would look like brand new. These are nice folding, either a workbench or a step, whatever you want to use it for. Those are pretty handy to have. Here's a bag full of these hold downs. Those are nice. I bought a bunch at one of the auctions here recently. Look at these cedar planks. If a guy wanted to build some cool stuff, wish I had the time. Another saddle. Some pipe clamps there. These are uh, screws for a screw gun. More clevises. Speed square C clamps. Drop hitch, big wrenches, whole bucket full of stuff there. Stop sign, somebody's going to pay big money for that. Casters, always handy to have. Big old cast iron like sledgehammer. Those are crazy old. Whole box full of triangle or T squares. Some breakers. Big measuring tapes. These are for if you have pegboard in your garage. I need this one actually. Might have to see what this box goes for. Some old heavy duty ratchet straps. Those look like brand new. I said old. Rubber snubbers. These are all shells for like a Hilti gun for driving stuff into concrete. These are like tiny little chain binders. These are handy to have if you're using chain. More new strappers or ratchet straps. Wow, I haven't seen one of these in years. This is a carbon arc right here. You hook it up to an air hose and a big AC welder and uh, it's a carbon arc torch. It was before plasma torches. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Your air and your welder hook up here. And then you put your carbon electrode in there and you see the little holes that blows air out and blows the material out as the carbon electrode arcs it. What's nice about those if you have really rusty material, like a regular torch is really hard to use, that carbon arc will blow right through it. Humongous hitch. It's like a three inch receiver. Toolboxes. Some uh, tool belts. Creeper. A roll of wire. Don't know what kind of wire. Some more clevises. These are handy to have. I have some of these at home though. 
some bigger wrenches than what I have. I might keep an eye on the bigger wrenches to complete my set. Pipe cutter, big crescent wrench, and then sheet metal vice grips. This is a uh, saddle horse here. This stands up, it's laying on its side. You put your saddle on that, keep it from collapsing. Lots of nuts and bolts and screws. Three boxes, four boxes, full five, full of stuff. Some old saws, some organizer trays. The winch doesn't go, that's for the trailer. This appears to be a uh, saddle horse also. Looks like it bolts to something and moves around. So we're gonna go get our number, get ready for the auction. They got the trailer over here. They do the smalls first. It's like we are number one today. Kelly tells me I'm number one all the time, so that's no surprise. Here checking out this trailer from a friend, Dave. It's a tilt bed trailer, double axle, so it'll haul his tractor just fine and probably an implement on the back as well. If he had a brush hog or something on it, he would take him somewhere. I don't care for these latches here. Looks like they're spring loaded, the spring's not working. So those would have to be changed around a bit. Oh, I guess it was just locked open. So that's fine. It's got a hydraulic ram here to raise it. A lot of times these rams go out, but they're easily replaced. Let's see if this latch here works. Yep. I guess that's all right. Got uh, stake pockets. Let's see what kind of wheels they got. Got six lug wheels. The uh, leaf springs appear to be in good shape. Looks like we could get it home without doing wheel bearings. When it's tilted, this bed would drop all the way down to the ground so you could drive up on it. It's got some wood damage, but that's not a big deal. You can replace boards a lot cheaper than metal. It's got the uh, LED lights on it, so it's not that old. Fenders are always tore up on these old things. I would take these old cheesy fenders off and put like heavy gauge, like 10 gauge fenders, build them in place. That way you could even drive over them if you wanted to with something. But not a bad trailer. Uh, I'm going to recommend it'll probably go around three grand. So I'll tell Dave. We'll see how close I am on that. I wouldn't go, you could go higher than three grand, but you're going to have to go through this thing. So we'll see what it goes for. Auction starts in about 45 minutes. I'm wondering if this cold wind is going to keep people away. But while I have time, I'm going to go look for those axles I need. Now down here under the cover, they kept it under here in case there was weather. They have some big uh, machinery that come out of a local business. A gigantic Hobart welder with a uh, MIG package on it here. A really big Kaiser Johnson metal bandsaw. You can cut some monster stuff in this. It's got the wet tank on the bottom. They didn't even clean the metal out of the wet tank, so they left some money in it for you for scrap. And then two big horizontal mills. The Cincinnati over there. This is a Herrig. But uh, man, if I had a bigger shop, the things I could do with a horizontal mill would be amazing. Real nice equipment. It's got plenty of life left on it for sure. Everything still works. Needs a little cleanup, but pretty sweet. I had to tuck in here and get out of the wind. So the auction's about ready to start. I checked out the axles. None of them are going to work for me. But there are a few things I'm going to bid on, so but not too many. You come to these auctions enough, you, you've got just about everything you need. It's hard to find something that you can't just do without. The auction's getting ready to jump off. This is Kathy here. She's one of our subscribers and works for the auction service. 
We love uh, coming to the Ozarks. How long have you been doing it? Oh, quite a few years. Yeah? It's a, a real good service you guys do for people. You need to sell this stuff. So, we'll be buying some stuff today. Number six, number six, how many you want? You want them all? Is there six? Did you tell me, Mike? Yep. Six times the money. Six times the money. Okay, now we'll go to lot ten. Lot ten, lot ten. And we have a number set from zero to nine. Uh, the hot irons from zero to nine. All right, we're going to sell the whole group. Is this that will right? be interesting. 50, 75. Uh, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, Take one, two, three, or four on a cast of seats. Cast aluminum seats. Tell them to go there. One, two, three, or four. You can have choice. Twenty-five to thirty dollars. Only about thirty, 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 thir
clouds are rolling in fast. So let's take a look at some of our treasure. So for about $8, I think we've got these wrenches that are bigger than the ones we got at the uh, last auction. This fills out our set even further. We've got this traveling sprinkler. I liked it because it had the old metal wheels. These aren't plastic wheels. This gear in here is plastic. But uh, we're going to take this apart and use it for another project. Don't be alarmed. This is not an antique by any means. But we're going to use this for something else. I think I paid a buck fifty for this chain. Basically bought it for the hooks. I have other chain I can put these hooks on. Some of this chain is pretty clapped out. Been drug on the pavement and stuff. So that's kind of dangerous chain. But we only wanted the hooks anyway. I think I paid a uh, buck fifty for this. These old pins. Can never have enough pins because you always need them when you're building projects. I'll add them to my my pin collection. Got an almost brand new trailer support leg. It's got the swivel base on it and all the hardware to mount it. Somebody probably pulled this off and replaced it with a jack. But for farm implements like where the tractor's raising it up, you don't need a jack. So this will be super handy. I think I got this for like $5. Got all the pegboard little attachments, and I basically bought the whole thing for this one right here because I need this for my nut drivers. So that'll be handy. It'll go right in my pegboard. So we got lots of other ones in here that we can use too. Eventually, I plan on put, putting up a bigger pegboard. We got those these old seed plates. These went in an old time theater. This would spin every one of these notches would catch a seed. You can see there's di different increments on all these. But we've got a project to use these for as well that you'll see sometime in the future on the channel. We got this really old tap and die set. I was happy to get this. Got all your taps over here. It's got your handles. This has interchangeable jaws you put in here to tap different threads on an outer thread and it's also got the inside taps as well super cool old kit i'm going to clean this box up on the outside to where it looks real nice like the inside but that's a good find there got these two old signs i got a stop sign and i've got a yield sign i don't think the stop sign is an actual stop sign but it's shaped like one it says stop that it was never used because it doesn't have any holes in it. Eventually I got an old display I want to do with license plate and signs and stuff like that that'll look really cool over by the shop. Now look at this cute little motor right here, a little engine. It's the Lawson. I've never seen one like it. It's got a little fuel tank on top. It's got a gear drive here on the back. It's got great compression. Very surprised with that. Got a cute little muffler over here on this side and a fuel tank. We're going to get this thing running someday. We're going to make a project out of this. Won't that be cool? Now here's the coolest thing of the day. If you remember seeing this, the little Rock Island one row corn and bean planter. Super sweet, very clean. Got a good paint job on it. It needs handles, but I can either make handles or buy handles. They still sell those. It's got three different gears pretty cool you can take it out of gear by this lever right here you pull on this lever all right we better close this barn up and get in the house get settled in and get our jammies on for a stormy evening and night coming i hope you enjoyed coming along to the auction today really love these farm auctions get some smoking good deals so many people out there got some good deals and uh it's really cool seeing this old stuff and being able to acquire some of it. Oh, I forgot to show you my most favorite thing I got at the auction today. Look at this old screwdriver. Full tang screwdriver. Isn't that the neatest thing you ever saw? That's my favorite thing of the day right there. Can't wait to clean this thing up. Super cool. So... 
until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. We love you guys. Come back and see us here on the farm. We're going to be doing a lot of neat projects coming up. And it's going to be fun stuff. So we hope to see you again. Love you guys. Listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Thank <laughs> you.